Hey Gemini, welcome to your monthly reading for January 2023. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for the month for you. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Um, I did also do pick a cards for 2023, sign readings for 2023 as well as I did a January pick of cards. So you can check all of that out on my channel. Let's see, Gemini, what's going on? Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles here with movement, choices, and decisions. All right, oh boy. We have mental conflict, Two of Swords, like I was saying, and then we have the Crown Chakra with um, number seven here. So there's a choice here that I almost feel like you're conflicted about. We have the root chakra here and the crown. So like the top and the bottom of um, kind of the body here, right? So this would be the top of the head and this would be the lower pelvic area. I almost feel like it's, it's really interesting. It's almost like what I'm getting with these energies is like, it's a just it's a decision that's within you you have to make this choice nobody can do it for you um it also has to like come from you so if you have a decision it's not so much about what other people think you should do is for some reason coming up as well i feel like if you have an idea it's like you're trying to decide whether you're going to like materialize it like there's something about like rooting rooting something or grounding something here um, let's get more on this here. What is this about? We have Volcano with Release. We have Regeneration. Ancestors and Intention. Bottom of the deck, we have wisdom. I feel like saying um, whatever this decision is about here, Gemini, it's like, what is the, what's the end goal? Like, what are you trying to achieve in your life? What are you trying to, what do you want to have? Where are you trying to go? Um, and does this fit into that picture? So like sometimes we we're like, oh, I got to make a decision or I don't know what to do about this. And we kind of forget about like the long term aspect because we're so caught up in the now. So I almost feel like if you take a step back and really think about like, OK, what am I trying to where am I trying to go in life? What am I trying to create? What do I want to have? What are my goals, my dreams for my life in general? Um, because there's not a specific question that's coming up. I feel like, I mean, for some of you, this could be around your career with the pentacle energy, but it just feels like more like your day-to-day -day life or it could just be very different for each of you watching. But it's like, what is, does this choice that you're trying to make, does it fit long-term in your vision of um, what you see for yourself? The ancestors energy is making me, it's connecting to the crown chakra for me. So um, this, I feel like is just like connecting to your ancestors, connecting to your soul, um, kind of like trusting that internal guidance in that sense. I feel like you have an opportunity to make a big change here to set yourself free from something. And again, you have the wisdom. You just have to listen to your like your own voice is what I feel here. Listen to your own voice. Um, don't get so caught up again in what other people are thinking or or saying or doing. For some reason, that's coming through. Let's see what else is going on with Gemini. We have the horse accepting help from another, delegating authority. Yeah, and then we have fear. I feel like you've been giving your power away. I feel like that's kind of what this is saying. Um, giving your power away to other people, other situations. 
Um, it's like it's this is something this is like asking you what what do you want Gemini what are you trying to create in your life what do you feel safe and secure with and some of you are really overthinking um, something in your life as well when it comes to making possibly a really big change um, now, there may also be people who you can talk to to bounce ideas off of, but don't let fear hold you back and don't let other people tell you what to do, right? You might just need a shoulder to kind of like, not cry on, but a shoulder to kind of like, or a person to kind of like bounce off an idea here or yeah, just talk it out with. Um, let's see. Gemini for January. You do have um, Mars in your sign and it is currently retrograde, but on the 12th it starts, it goes direct. Now there will be a shadow period, but that might also kind of free up some of this energy. So we have the High Priestess here. So again, trusting your intuition here. We also have the Wayfarer, which is the lovers in this deck. Again, there's a choice that I feel you're presented with the lovers is also your energy we have justice here and we have judgment so you have four major arcana we also have the hermit here at the bottom of the deck with introspection so yeah there's a big big decision i feel like it creates a lot of change for you i feel like it um it opens you up to new things or it opens you up to a new world in some aspect where you're like fearful of like, well, what if, what if I choose the wrong thing? What if I say the wrong thing? There's something around that. I think you need to trust yourself. Some of you, your fears are really um, like being highlighted here um, around this. You have to trust your internal, internal guidance system, your internal, like your intuition here as well. Uh, to make this change for yourself. So we have the Hermit here, the Moon, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So, and with all these majors here, like the universe is working with you, alongside you to help you through this transformation. You can't ever really make the wrong decision, right? We're always kind of pivoting and changing things in our life. It just might change the path a little bit. I feel like in a weird way too, you know what to do. It's just more, you're questioning yourself. You're doubting, overthinking. Um, tell us more about this choice for Gemini in January. Some of you, this could be a big move I'm getting. What is going on for Gemini? Um, what is this choice about? Yeah, we have stagnation. Interesting. I almost feel like things have stagnated in your life. That could be a little bit of that retrograde energy. Let me see what else with that stagnation for Gemini. Yeah, we have upheaval. There's a massive change. But it's almost like you have to decide whether you're going to step into it or not. Like you, like, some of you might feel like you don't have an option, but I almost like, I feel like in that, like there's that answer a little bit, right? Um, I feel like you're also going through a map, what feels like a massive change because you have been maybe through a more stagnant period of time in your life um, where, you know, things have maybe been kind of slow moving Again, potentially with that um, retrograde energy coming up, you may, when it starts to go move forward, like there might be some big changes. Um, so don't let your fear and your worries get in the way. Because I feel like there's good intention or there's good things that can come out of this. It's progress, it's growth that you're going to be experiencing, even if it's uncomfortable in the moment. What is this um, choice about here 
for Gemini. So we have healing. I support you on the path of healing. So um, again, I feel like even if it's challenging to move through this, you are you're going to experience a lot of growth where you've been having more stagnation. Like things haven't been changing for you. And now I feel like you, you could almost feel like everything's changing at once. And it's like, what the hell is this? Um, cause I almost feel like it's, it's affecting how you feel stability wise. We have sacred ceremonies. I remind your soul of the sacredness of the world. I feel like your rituals, um, or the things that you do could be changing your day to day. So this is where I'm getting like moving or a big shift in your job or something like that. You could be moving, which is influencing your job or you're moving because of your job. We also have summer time for a time for blooming celebrate your successes so i feel like you actually are gonna again have a lot of growth some of you have outgrown your current situation as well and that's why there's been stagnation yeah and we have intuition intuition is the messenger of your destiny follow it so again trust your intuition over your fear um I think things are going to start to speed up a lot here for you, uh, Gemini, with this change. And that's why I feel like some of you, it's, you might feel like it's all coming at you at once. So we have the Grail Knight, Romance, Illusion, Seeking the Sacred. This reminds me of like the Knight of Cups energy. I just feel like this is about go moving forward with your goals, your dreams. What else does Gemini need to know for January? Yeah, we have the B, luck, industriousness, and sweet victory. So again, the sense of growth here um, and movement, like growth and movement, even if it's slow progress at first, um, I feel like the choice that you feel you have to make has, it's like you gotta make it quick. But then I feel like once you make the decision, it's like things just kind of build upon each other. But I do feel like there's a positive energy around this change, even if it feels uncomfortable. And we have restriction here. So again, I, I just feel like things have been stagnant for you. And you have to make this choice to step into a whole new world. It could be uncomfortable. But I almost feel like with this serpent and knowledge and healing, it's like you've learned everything you need to in your current um, space that you're in. There's more on this for Gemini, please. Yeah, freedom. We have the chariot. So the obstacles you're facing, you're going to be able to overcome here. Um, I do also feel like this is things speeding up in your life. Um, and again, this kind of decision, usually in the chariot, there's um, two, like the horse, two horses, and they're kind of facing separate directions. So you may, again, have to choose, or you feel like there's resistance here, or there's been restriction and stagnation that I feel like you're freeing yourself from. Yeah, we have the Empress here and we have the King of Cups. So growth and expansion, especially um, on a emotional level, things are going to settle down. Once you make this choice and you start moving in this direction, things will kind of settle down where they won't be so chaotic feeling. Um, however, there is this sense of um, abundance and growth that is trying to come towards you. There's an there's a evolving. It's interesting. We have seven of these tarot cards and six of them are all major arcana. So this feels like a big, um, like a big moment in your life. A big, kind of like it changes the trajectory a little bit of your 
life or it's a big it's one of those like pivotal moments where you'll kind of remember it as like yeah when I went and did that everything changed or when I went and moved there everything changed that sort of thing and again I'm getting like a whole new world so it's like a the life you're currently living will feel like way different than the one you're walking into and we have six of swords it might feel like a whole extra like a whole different life that you lived um we have six of swords so again some of you could be moving traveling um changing jobs careers we have the sun here if you're not changing something or making a big decision i don't really feel like this is your reading but where you're going is bringing you more happiness with the sun and that six of swords you're moving to a better space you're moving to an expansive space an abundant space there's not i just again i feel like you've outgrown your current situation your current relationship like whatever this decision is around you've outgrown the current space but then in that you're almost like fearing the change because it's like probably this other space is comfortable but it's it's stagnant it's not growing and there's not really much else it can kind of like give you in a way um, we have nine of wands with spiritual strength. Yeah, two of cups. What else for Gemini here? And we have the sacral chakra, which is uh, feminine energy, creativity, kind of more fiery, passiony, passionate type of energy. We also have the solar plexus. So this is about being bold and creating... Um, this kind of like new world. I feel like some of you have been really not wanting to give up on, again, what you've currently been. Like there's kind of this like, oh, I'm gonna miss it. Or, oh, it's, you know, I've, I've spent so much time and, and energy here and not wanting to like give that up. But I feel like something new wants to be created here. Something, something new wants to be birthed here. The sacral chakra talks about like, it's like empress energy. So it's like, you're meant to grow and expand and to keep going here not stagnate where you are there's something there's more to experience in life there's more and i think if you tap into your intuition here you'll you'll recognize that um you'll know what the answer is right let's see what else is going on here we have trust in the invisible yeah, we have mischief. Like, you don't know what the universe is up to, I'm getting. Um, like, there's there's something in the works. But in order to experience that, you have to maybe step outside a comfort zone here. Yeah, we have strength, and then we also have safety. So, um, using your strength and being courageous, even when you don't feel safe, knowing that safety comes within you, um, we have determination here. So some of you as well have like, again, the kind of like what I was talking about in the beginning of the reading where do you see this fitting in your life or do you see where you're currently at getting you to where you're trying to go? Because some of you may have a goal or a vision or a dream for your life of what you thought your life would look like. And I don't think the that whatever's stagnating here is like it's kind of it's that's it you've learned what you need to learn from it and now it's about taking a new opportunity or or taking a different path and that's where i feel like this big choice comes in where it's like you connecting back to your vision to bring more growth and expansion because you're not fully where you originally wanted to be and so you may have to step outside of a comfort zone in order, and again, that's why I think that fear is coming up, like stepping outside a comfort zone, really changing things up um, in order for you to get to where you're trying to go here. So let's get a final message. What is the advice here for Gemini for January 2023? Look at that ace of cups i feel like your advice is follow your heart follow your heart do what you want to do again especially if other people are putting their opinions in um take those with a grain of salt right because that comes with all their baggage too um, but we have the ace of cups and the nine of pentacles listen to your heart what do you want what do you see value in what do you see growing and expanding in your life 
And I feel like it's like, what do you value? What do you honor? You, what do you want to grow and expand in your life? Both of these talk about abundance and having everything that you need. And it, it again, I feel like it's also indicating like that place of safety comes from within. Um, so knowing that whatever you choose, you'll always be able to kind of like figure it out, right? Like you'll always be able to navigate it um, and just having that faith and that trust within yourself. But really go with your heart on what feels right and connect back to that dream that vision that you originally had for yourself or that you do have for yourself that's kind of maybe for some of you I feel like it's been a little kind of buried away here um but you have an opportunity here to make a big decision um to really progress and move yourself forward here so that is what I have for you Gemini hopefully that resonates let me know down below if not you can check out any of the other signs but I hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching liking subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one bye